Good morning, King of Avalon. How's everybody doing? I just, uh, well, we're in the middle of the conquest. About 17 hours left. We're matched up against uh, 527, 297, 155, 59, 331, and 326. Um, looks like a pretty active conquest. Um, I literally just got on. And so I just saw our guys uh, were sitting on the fortress and looks like they did a mega, mega rally. And I'm going to speed up a little bit. That guy is sending in some troops. He's going to call back. I believe that guy has some power. So I'm just trying to uh, get some kill points. But yeah, last weekend... KVK was pretty quiet. I was actually in San Diego at a concert. And so didn't really have much time to play. But it was it was good. It was a great concert. I, I mean, I, I'm an 80s guy. Rock ballad, Ario, Speedwagon. I actually saw Air Supply as well. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, we're in 527 right now. And we have a number of our 40s there. And... Looks like 527 is pretty packed as well. They're pretty active, trying to defend their towers. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Going to send into the fortress to gather some points. And Milkies is here, Romy is here, and who else is here? Let's see. Can follow the green lines. General Bomsi is there. I think he's Turkish or German? Or he, Turkish lives in Germany. I'm not sure. So good to see you, Romy, of course, and who else is here? Where's Milky? I said, where are you? Okay, so, all right, so I'm going to go sit once my troops come back, go sit, reinforce our fortress here. But yeah, you know, we had a recent update, new heroes, making things more complex, more costly. Those new heroes... Are pretty strong and I think there was a system message that talked about the number of frags that are required to upgrade the stars nonetheless it is going to be pricey so let me go ahead and do this let me send in my uh, reinforcements to the fortress oh it looks like green is here too green green good to see you but yeah um, how's everybody doing out there? Well, here, I don't, th well, I guess we do get a, f no, I don't think we get kill points. We get points for sitting on towers or fortresses gathering ore. And so I don't think they've had many changes to their rewards or quality of rewards. So it is what it is, but, um, Yeah. Let's see here. What's going on here? Oh, so it looks like they're running another rally. Okay. 527. You guys are pretty active. I like it. It's good. Let's see where they're targeting. Rally against... Them. Okay. So let's, all right, uh, reinforce fortress, oops, so <laughs> it was funny, you know, it's, um, last night someone in our kingdom scouted me, QCF Gravedigger, I think it's, um, I don't know who it is, but it's an 86 player and, uh, yeah, um, so I shielded, learning from my mistakes from last conquest where I lost both relics. So I was shielded the whole time. So I couldn't sit. I, ideally, what I wanted to do was be able to sit on one of our towers, mm -hmm. defending it to gather points while I'm sleeping. But you can't do that. Can't do that. So, um, yeah, so I'm literally starting to get my points now. I think, what is it? We need 80K points. <laughs> 80,000 points. Okay. 
I did pop in and I saw that we were like second and we dropped down to fifth. We got kicked to the back of the bus. You know, again, it's not a big point disparity. It's pretty close so other than first and second. But still, it, it's not a big enough point gap where any of the kingdoms can't get back on board. Other than maybe 326 and 331. Perhaps they're not too active this conquest. But other than that, our kingdom and up, uh, you know, first is still off for grabs. It's not such a big point disparity. So let's see here. Okay, we do have a rally coming in. Let's take a look. I think, I believe that's Ahmad. Good to meet you. And uh, total two, almost 2.4 million troops. Wait, let me get that, make sure I'm reading that right. My eyes are going bad. Yeah, looks like 2.4 million troops headed into the fortress here. How many guys we got here? How many guys? We got three of us. We're going to need a lot more. Yeah, we only we, we only have 1.1 million troops. Oops. So, as you guys know, I posted uh, that video from the REO Speedwagon concert. I thought I'd show some variation of um yeah i mean to me it was a great concert but i thought i'd share that little special memory with you all and who is this from i think we're gonna lose this one Because, I mean, it's, let's be realistic, you know, it's, uh, they have 2.4 million troops. Although I didn't see the report from the last hit. Well, I had one hit. This is my first hit. We'll take at this look. Look, look at this battle report. Um, they had uh, uh, five point eight million troops. I did scout it. I think there were elevens and tens. So I hit that, and that's kind of where we're at. Again, remember these buffs are inflated buffs. I call them fake buffs, mm -hmm. or or yeah. Yeah, fake buffs. <laughs> I think, like, for the troop buffs, it adds about 200% and maybe two to 400% on your other buffs for conquest events. So don't get too excited. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. I got a bad feeling about this, as they would say in Star Wars. Yep. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at the report here. Oh, so not as bad as I thought. Not as bad as I thought. If we had one more 40 in here, we might have been able to hold it. I'm going to go ahead and try to speed in here. Let's see what happens here. Speed in here. And for this, I will pop the talent. The Colossal March talent. Send in a march here. Speed up. Oh. And let's take back. Let's see what happens. What am I going up against? 1.2 million plus troops. Ah, oh, shoot. I send in two. I should have I sped in. Yeah, I should have sped in. I should have sped in. The guy uh, replenished with the uh, with the new march. And yeah, he's got me out. No, it's not even that. Yeah, it's sheer number. There's nothing I could do against that. But um, 
right so let's see here let's make them work a little bit let's see here let me scout this tower so he's doing the right thing you know we hit him sends back a troop oh, hang on sends back the original march replenishes with a fresh march because most times what's happening is your infantry getting wiped out and so that's the very wise thing to do so um Take a look here, scout. Okay. All right. Well, I like this one here. Let's make him work a little bit. Uh, green, green, you launched a rally against what? Against him? How many? What's his power? Uh... <laughs> hey, White Rider. Shout out to you. You won't like angry. 1.1 billion troops. Is that correct? Yeah. So. So they're calling back. Let's see what they got here. 1 million troops. 1 million troops. They will, yeah, they're going to keep rallying us. I mean, I'm not sure if it's worth it to just like keep. So they're calling back. <laughs> Hmm, what they got left here. What do they have left here? Yeah, it's probably not worth it to just keep smashing troops here. Let me send in a, a fun march. Yeah, not worth the speed-ups, but they give away these 20% speed-ups a lot more easily now. And I'll sit here for a little bit. Gather some points. This is the highest. Uh, th this building in their lines has the highest amount of ore. So each minute that you're sitting on there, you're able to gather more ore per minute. And I'm sure many, most of you know that. Oh, oh this one has a lot, a lot of ore. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. It has a lot of ore. Yeah. So before he hits me, I am going to call back. I don't want to give him the pleasure of even getting a few points off of me. More troops. Hmm. What is this? Are they... They're marching against him? Hmm. All right. They're rallying against him? Okay. Oh, shoot. Ah, that's right. I don't have my main heroes here. Which guy should I send? Ah, he... Okay. I guess he ported it away. Where did you go? I was going to reinforce you. Where is he now? Oh, okay, he's there. Good. All right. So if they try to reinforce him again, I mean, I uh, hit him again. Nacho, 326. Nacho, is that... Are you the Nacho? Oh, they put a spell on you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Now, I, you know, I'm kind of debating sending in my main march because I want to have my dragon ready just in case they try to hit my... Jeez, slow internet. Let's get a victory here. Send in that march.
<laughs> I guess we're going to just make him rally us again and again and again. Because I think that's the only way they're going to um, be able to take us. So let's take a look at this. Be able to beat him to the punch. Lost 116 troops. We zeroed his march. And yes. So let's take a look at some battle details here. Let's take a look here. Oh, wait. Another rally against us. Wow, I mean, this is going to be a back and forth. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to ask him to call back the troops. Oh, did they call off the... Well, they're still mega rallying. I would say we probably we were able to hold it with 1.2. You know, I think we need at least 1.6 million. Call back. So I think one on one they can't get us, but um, rally wise, because of sheer number, they can beat us. I mean, the stats are relatively comparable, but um, let's see. All right. Just in case, I'll reinforce him. Don't have my dragon there, but um, yeah. If any of you got the new heroes, so here I am, obviously, no spending. But I uh, haven't been able to access any of the new heroes at all. But how about you? I mean, this is the thing. You know, even the first level buffs, they're like infantry attack, bowman defense. Ideally, we'd want bowman attack or infantry defense or health first as a first star, but they're going to make us pay for that. And so the question is, is it worth it, despite it being a pretty good number, is it worth it to uh, have those heroes with only one star and to, to replace it with a hero that might be four, five, six stars? And um, personally, for me, I don't think it is. But, um, yeah, I don't think it is. But maybe some of you have different opinions. Maybe it is worth it to have the new hero with one star. Uh, and and forego having one of your other heroes that have four, five, six stars. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. But, um, yeah, I haven't really been able to be, play on, play very much. Uh, as you know, last weekend I was out and about enjoying some great concerts on the weekend. Um, Yeah, this. so one thing about this, you know, I never really thought about this, but it, when we're doing these donations, Alliance to Alliance Tech, endless growth, because 
all our brother, you know, we can't donate to anything else. But when you see here, it really does. And I always used to do just for being lazy, always tap the first one here to the left. But when these other guys pop up for the same silver, you're getting like five times as much benefits by clicking the second one. So it, it is worth it. See, again here, you know, it's worth it to, um, I shouldn't have done that. Always go below four hours because now if I want to contribute, I got to burn up some gold to be able to mm -hmm. access the ability to donate again. But nonetheless, okay, so let's see here. So rally is going to land, obviously in a rally, they can't speed it up. Right. So no loss for our alliance. Uh, what happened was we made them burn time, burn gold for the Mega. Now, the issue is they have a massive amount of troops sitting on this building. But to be honest, we should be focusing on the altar. Because there's more ore there. So I'm curious what they got going on here. So they have... 767,000 troops, and I don't know, it looks like it's an enemy sending in some troops. Personally, I like to hit the altar. It's, uh, you know, almost 30,000 more ore. So they're recalling back. 527, he's sending in a march. So, wow, still plundering and send him back. So one thing I do know is that, um, I think it was Hulk, Flying Hulk for 297, took the altar and uh, was able to keep it after I think Oxmod is, Ahmad is their main hitter from their kingdom but um, yeah so you know there's suggestion of going to another kingdom I mean if you just want to go back and forth back and forth sit here but again you're not gonna get points by doing this it's fun you know you, troop loss is just wounded and there's no real troop loss so if you want action conquest is I think the opportunity to test your power and mess around and you know, and, 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 uh, takes a little risk. Oh, the other thing is they have these six March setups and I haven't set them up, but what I would recommend is probably setting up different marches for different events. And, um, yeah, whether it's for your, um, conquests, uh, the nether war, KVK. So both of them gonna hit me. I'll let that one hit. And let's see what happens when, when this march hits. A 30 is sending in, so what is it? 10, 10 sending in some marches. And who's gonna hit first? Who's gonna hit first? I hope the 10 hits first, but I'll have less loss. Oh, geez. Wow. I lost. Okay, so um, it was pretty close. I probably ran out of infantry. The 10 when it hit me probably took out my infantry. Let's take a look how much infantry I had left. Yeah, I didn't have enough. Well, no, I, I still had infantry left. I'm not sure. I mean, the buffs are... My buffs are slightly better. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay, well, you know, I thought I wanted to uh, check in with you all. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video and said hi to you all. And I hope that you're enjoying your conquest. Have a great weekend. 
If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. You guys are all awesome. Guys and gals are all awesome. And I always appreciate any of your comments and views that you guys post. Um, it's great to interact with you all. So have fun. It was good to uh, battle against you guys, 527. Good job. You guys are actively defending your kingdom. Great. Uh oh, your hive. Great. So with that, we'll call it a day. Perhaps I might post another video. We'll see. But for now, we're done. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.